Hi there. Um, it's been a little while since I've done a video, but today I'm back at it. Um, I've been very busy at work, and today we're going to talk a little bit about updating Garmin. Um, I'm going to go fishing this weekend, and I decided to do the upgrade, excuse me, the update through Active Captain and all of that. Um, I did the update through um, Active Captain, everything went well, and it was when it was time to put it onto the um, unit itself, it did transfer very, very well and everything else. So it went from the Active Captain to the card, to the SD card, the one that I have already in there. And then when it went from here, from the card into the unit itself, I guess the firmware, all of a sudden it just went, the screen went totally black and then it started to, uh, I guess, uh, started to turn off and on several times. So what I did is I checked my, 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 uh, the battery power on my, on my boat. I had like a little over uh, 13 because it was, it was freshly charged. I checked the wiring and all of that. Uh, I went uh, I went online and I read about you know maybe some wires maybe being uh, at the bottom uh, behind the unit maybe it could be loose and everything else. I checked the wiring. Um, I check all of that stuff. Uh, make sure that the um, there's like a little metal uh, thing that you put on on the back of it and that is for uh, for interference. I checked all of that. Everything was good. Uh, and then I say, well, maybe maybe something did, did went wrong when I did the installation. I decided to call Garmin, and Garmin they helped me out, and they were pretty much say, hey, you know what? Let's just do this, this and that. And I said, you know what? I just did it. I did the wiring. I checked everything else. I make sure that the uh, I even disconnected the uh, the uh, transducer on the NMEA wire from the back of the. Uh, of the unit because I have uh, I have it connected to to my engine. I disconnected all of that, explaining all of that uh, battery power, and they were like, "Give me one second and give me one second. So they finally got um, with another tech, and the other tech said, "Okay, <clears throat> sounds like the uh, the uh, when the uh, the unit did the transfer into the unit itself. Excuse me, from the cart to the unit itself." Uh, something happened and it just went blank and the only way to recover that is by sending you a new software package and I say the first thing I say do I have to pay for it and they say no because this unit is, is brand new I don't even I have it I have it for almost uh, about six months so I don't know if it was covered under warranty. I have no idea, but when they went over there into my account and everything else that were able to see this unit and I have another, a couple more units in there, but the, uh, uh, the software package is $30. So they waived that for me because I guess still under warranty and it, it is covered. So they said, we're going to send it to you. I want to explain it to you how uh how it's gonna work and everything else so they sent me the uh software package in in the mail i already have it and they also sent me uh an instructions on how to do it so let's try to fix my garmin ecomap uhd 94 sv a 94 stands for salt and on this one i have the upgraded uh vision plus so i have the uh the best the best uh i guess the best maps that garmin can offer right now for this unit which is the vision plus it's it is very awesome uh i still haven't been able to use full uh the whole thing is it's it, there is way too much for me <laughs> i think but it, i already used it on the salt and it's, it is very awesome so let's start the process on installing it the um, the software package into it and uh, let's let's get right to it. All right, the package from um, Garmin arrived. It, this one arrived on a bigger on a bigger box, a really really big box, kind of like a like a shoe box size. Why? I have no idea why, but to me that is very awesome customer service. They want to really make sure that they they're taking care of their customers. 
Uh, this is the um, update for the Garmin device. This is all the software that is in it. Supposedly that is the software that it was lost when I was doing the update on my on my unit. So we're gonna try to take it all out. And it's right here. Okay. There we go. So I have the instructions on everything else. I have the Garmin unit here. And let's get to it. Let me uh, try to install it here right quick. Uh, that transfer happened and I basically did this and show this software missing Garmin. So, and uh, at this point, nothing works. Absolutely nothing works. The screen, the touch screen, the screen is not working or, or anything like it. So, okay so i turned it off and i did all of this stuff several times and uh turn it off and turn it back on and i uh right on it doesn't it is not working so the instruction goes like this so the instructions want you to do the press the uh, power button on the number four and hold it right and then you're gonna have that message that says recovery loader ready and then you're gonna let go and then what we're gonna do is gonna put our card here I'm gonna put a card and Put it in there. Um, it will start doing the start. You know, so we'll start you know doing this starting recovery update right now on its own. So this should take a little while, and I'm gonna start counting right now. So right now is is eight o'clock. Right, it's eight o'clock, and we'll we'll find out how long it'll take to do it. In the meantime, um, I'm gonna stop the video right now, and I'm gonna start counting uh, how how long it will take. Um, I'm guessing it's gonna take a little while. And then again, this is the first time it, it has ever happened to me. So we're gonna take it from here, count the minutes and everything else, and uh, we'll see we'll see what happens. All right, that was not even four minutes or maybe not even three minutes and we already have that little notification says uh software is loading so that tells me that the card that they sent me is actually started to work into it well at this point it already updated and everything else i already went through the, all the screens and everything else everything worked very 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 good so let's just uh, turn it on. Uh, this is the first time I turned it on since everything um, updated. So let's let's check it out. Let's see how long it'll take. Last time it was taking a little bit longer than it usual. So I don't know if that had to do with the uh, uh, software, you know, going gone missing. So let's let's check this out. Let's let's find out how long it takes. Oh, there you go. Uh, I come up offshore 94 um, this is the one um, for the Gulf uh, because the Gulf of Mexico I do have the blue chart the G3 that is this is the older version and let's find out if I have uh, I'm gonna go over here system information uh, software and it's all right there yep uh software is the uh i guess uh 25 the software the software version is 25.00 so it's good it is very good so i have it all in there i have the uh, the uh software version and all of that so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring my old card and put it in here and 
install the uh, the vision I don't see I don't see the uh, the vision here uh, but uh, I'm just gonna gonna try to find out what what really happened to it anyway well uh, thank you guys um, everything is looking very 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 good and um, let's see if we can come up with something else Thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully i can be making more videos more often i've been really really busy but this video it was very very good i, I love it so much because it has so much information on how to install it and everything else but if you do have a comment and everything else please um make yourself comfortable and write something up uh, don't forget to like and subscribe well, thank you very much have a great day Bye bye